global mapper is used by academic institutions worldwide, and in a recent Geotox Express webinar, we were joined by students and faculty who shared their experiences with global mapper and the academic curriculum. So I've been using global mapper about three, three and a half years now, and I found that it's just such a powerful tool to help me with my research looking at coastal processes. And why global mapper? I'll talk about this a little bit more throughout my presentation, but truly it's just been so powerful in terms of working with big data for me. It's fast. I really like that compared to other GIS software and other software I've used in general. Um, it's really nice to have such ease of visualization. So in terms of filtering and viewing everything, it's just a great way to visualize what's going on and see what you're doing and work with the data efficiently. So we have quite a wide cross-section of, of students and Global Mapper really fits into it as, as a tool that they can use once they get out of, of school that's fairly inexpensive and, and pretty comprehensive as far as what you can do with it. Uh, I think it's just a, a real well-rounded tool that allows greater flexibility for the students once they get out of, of school to uh, be able to integrate geospatial technologies into their particular workflow or application. And of course the pixels to points in our SUAS program is, is a fa fantastic tool. Again, it gives the students something that is really cost effective once they get out if they want to, if they're in a, an industry or a job where photogrammetry with uh, with drones is something that they will be doing or something they will be supporting. It gives them that experience with the, the photogrammetric processes before they get out so they understand what's going on. Now, the way we use Global Mapper in GIS courses is um, by and large, uh, 3D visualization and LIDAR, we find it, it, it is our go-to tool um, for those applications and we find that our students when they go off into the workforce use Global Mapper for those purposes a lot. We typically teach them uh, how to, you know, we sort of introduce them to the technology using Global Mapper tutorials. We find them to be very effective and they also form good reference materials. So if you haven't used them yet, I encourage you. In fact, I use the tutorials to kind of teach myself um, how to use the software and I'll go back and and access them. To learn more about the Global Mapper academic curriculum, read the blog on this topic available at bluemarblegeo.com and check out this full recorded webinar on our YouTube channel.